Yeah, the maps are nice. The maps are well done. Um, there's nothing glaringly bad about them, so that's fine. Okay, this dude looks kind of important. <laughs> I'm both a human and a monster. Some people can't accept that, so they label me only as a monster. Narrow-minded. You know? Okay. Wow, he looks so kind of... He looks so kind of main character -y. You know? His face portrait and even his sprite make you think like, Wow, this guy must be important to the storyline. I wonder if he's just a villager? Because um, if he's just a villager, then that's great because that means that uh, Giriel has put a lot of work into all the NPCs and not just the not just the main cast. Which is, obviously that takes a lot more time than just improving your main cast. Man, she gives me a headache <laughs> when she runs around like that. World map. A cinema region. Who's this guy? Bridge repairs are currently underway. Please return to Sazanak until repairs are completed. So that's good. You know, it's always awkward in RPGs where you have a world map and you have to try and block off certain parts of the world um, until the story has pro progressed to a certain point. It's always a little bit tricky to try and make sure that you're doing it in an organic way and in a way that doesn't seem obvious as a block, you know? Um, so that's fine. Let's try and save. Okay, so custom save menu, very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, these custom graphics, I think, what they do is they just add originality and uniqueness to your game. Um, it just makes you remember the game as something different. Um, it was something that I really wanted to do in Bogus, to have like custom save menus and custom uh, main menus and stuff. And I just didn't have the time to, I didn't have the time and I didn't have the, probably the, graphical awareness of what it takes to make a good menu so I skipped that um, but it just it just it's not something that's obviously it doesn't affect the gameplay of a game having this unique graphic but I think it just helps to the overall playing experience when you have this sort of thing wow this is a weird okay I guess because it's elements and it's all to do with elements so it brings up, I guess it brings up, uh, let's try again. Because I'm thinking that it probably brings up a random element picture, like a picture of earth or a picture of fire or whatever, when you save. Yeah, so it brings up a... This or that, I'm not too sure about, to be honest with you. Um, the menu screen, the save menu screen itself was, was fine, this portion of it. When you save and it brings up that kind of photoreal, photorealistic picture of an element, it's a little bit jarring, so it kind of brings you out of the it brings you out of the overall aesthetic, I would say, uh, in my opinion. Let's look at it again. That one's not so bad because it's not so realistic, but like the really high definition pictures that are really realistic, um, I think they're a little bit jarring. Save crystal here. Crystal's power flows through the party. Don't forget to save focus. <laughs> okay, so these houses... <laughs> these houses don't even have doors on them. <laughs> or maybe it's from up top. I don't know. Let's check. Wow, that must be really hard to get into your house at night when you don't have a door. Do you have to, like, slip through the window or something? Crazy. Man, there's a lot of these houses that don't have doors. How do these people even live here? It's crazy. Let's go in this house. Jess's house. Hey Jerry, have you gone over to Sazanak Castle recently? I have not. There was a ghost outside the door when I went and I'm too scared to go back my by myself. Would you come check it with me? Um, sure. I knew I could count on you. Thanks. Jess joined the party. Okay, let's go to Saznak Castle. First, it's pussy time. There's always time for pussy. Jess used to take us for what? Is that, is that the cat talking? Is the cat talking to me? So I can talk to animals? That's pretty cool. Is 
Is that chicken? Man, you need to... What? <laughs> is that... Oh my god, there's a sheep! What the heck? Why is there a sheep and a dog? Wow, this is crazy! Jess used to read books about summoning. So... So the sheep... The sheep is talking to me about summoning books... Su magic books. Wow. I think one of her desires is to become one. Become what? A summoner? Alright, okay. Not a sheep. Does anyone become a sheep? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, just go with it. What do you say to me? Jess is the only person in uh, Asirama who is both a lightning element and a water element. Oh, she's a hermaphrodite element. Both and both. Chicken. Jess loves us. She always plays with us. Yeah, but like, you can't just have a sheep wandering around your house. Like, I know, because I grew up, um, my family used to run farms on, um, way, way up north in Scotland. Um, and, you know, you cannot have sheep wandering around your house. It's just not, it's not what you do. Keep them outside, and the chicken too, you know. Keep the chicken outside. Okay, so the music is really nice. I really like the music. I think this track is a standard RPG Maker track. I'm pretty sure I've heard it before when I was looking through the uh, music packs. But it's okay. It does the job. If we buy stuff. Oh, there's a monster. <laughs> Who's this guy? It's not fair. No armor here fits me. Yeah, I can see that. You must be, must be quite hard to shop for UA. Because you don't really have the proportions of a human, you know. Getting a jumper over those wings would be pretty tricky. You know, different towns have different armors. I find it interesting to see what different types of armor are being so sold. These items are on display, not for sale. It's really interesting the world setting that he's chosen here um, to have monsters and humans coexisting. I think that's a really interesting choice and it could lead to some very uh, dramatic storylines. Um, if something, if the balance, if the peace starts to crumble between humans and monsters, I don't know what the, I don't know what the social uh, hierarchy or structure is, or if there's any kind of subclass, whether the monsters are a lower class in the society than the humans, so it's definitely intriguing, and what I like about it is that it hints at possible storylines without bombarding you with lots of cutscenes, like, just just seeing this monster floating around the shop here is, you know, it hints at so much, and it, it's a great little teaser as to what could be coming in terms of the storyline. Um, the only thing I would say about this guy is that he's behind a counter and he's obviously a vendor a vendor of uh, armors and stuff so I wouldn't make him walk on the spot like that you know walk forward constantly I would just leave him standing still because it looks kind of odd to have him just be constantly walking forward um, would you like to strengthen your defenses that's a little if, if this is an armor selling guy it's a little bit of an odd sentence to have as your um, opening for a, for a shop because it's not it doesn't really make that much sense here are your strengtheners yeah you need to reword that a little bit I would say that's, that's my opinion is because here are your strengtheners doesn't convey the sense that it's an armor shop you know So how much money have we got? Have we got 3,194 gold? How did we get so much? Is that because I did those practice battles? I did the practice battles a couple of times. It's a lot of money. I could like buy almost everything here. So I might as well, eh? Okay, 
Okay, so these shields are only for Jerome. This is only for Jerome. This, this is all... Oh, this is for... Oh, this. Okay, so that's us improved our uh, equipment a little bit, so that's pretty good. By the way, this this music track here, the guitars, the rock guitars, I really like this music. It's really good. I don't know why you didn't make this music sort of the main village music, because it's so it's so hype for the armor shop, you know. I think. I would have made this probably the main village because it really helps to like motivate you. This music for the village is a little bit bland, whatever. Like it's okay, it's definitely okay, but. I want to get to know Caroline, but she never leaves the castle. Clown did. You see. People tend to think all shadow elements are evil. I'm a shadow element, but I don't find pleasure in harming people. This. Wow. Funky music. Some wine has been knocked over. Clean it up. Um, yeah. I cleaned the mess and received 500 experience. <laughs> wow. Cleaning gives you ton of experience. Jerome, wow, I leveled up from cleaning up some wine. That's crazy. Jessica is now level 6. I can't believe that you get a level up from just doing household chores. <laughs> That's like insane. But it's kind of cool. I guess. This music must be an original track because I've definitely not heard it before. It's very distinctive. Um, it's probably not. To, uh, this is just a personal thing. It's probably not to my personal taste. It's like kind of giving me a headache at the moment because it's like pop, 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 pop. You know, it's a bit like, oh, please stop. <laughs> it is very distinctive. Like people would definitely remember it. Yeah, a lot of your music. A lot of your music is very. I don't know, I think it's just a personal thing, that it's it's just a little bit headachey for me, but that's just, I think that's definitely a personal thing, and it's not, I don't think you, I don't think you should change it, based on what I think. Um, I think you should just leave it as it is, because it's probably fine. Um, leave this place. Okay, here we go! I've got it! Okay, so, this looks like a dark guy, but I don't think we've got anything that could really exploit that at the moment. I Let's can't just let attack you go on. and see how much that does. Oh wow, she's got a really good voice. Um, the voice, the voice work in this game is really top notch, and I'm really impressed by it because um, it's just awesome. Huh, I've got it. I can't let you go on. Strike. Yeah, again, though, the only thing that I'm kind of thinking is that it's like basically two quotes and it's just the same two quotes over and over again um, so they kind of get repetitive a little bit Woo. Do you really wow he came out of nowhere Roger. All systems go. Roger I can't let you go on. Yeah. 
Also, I wouldn't have the green clouds coming across the battle screen like this. Um, you've got a lot of visual elements to your battle system, so your battle system is not dull and drab. That's not something that you need to worry about. Um, but with the green, with the green clouds as well, it's too, it's too much. I think for me, it's too, it's too many visual elements on screen at the same time, and it's very distracting. And it, to me, it detracts from the battle system overall. It doesn't add anything. It doesn't add any kind of atmosphere or anything. It's just, it's just annoying, basically. So I would not have the green clouds over the battle, battle screen. I mean, just keep in mind, Gariel, that these are all just opinions, you know, um, they're all just personal opinions and it's not, you can disagree and then just keep things as they are, that's obviously your choice as the creator. I'm just giving you my personal opinions on, on everything as I come across it. I mean, I think, I think the green clouds for the map screen is okay because it's just a map screen and, um, it does kind of add something to the atmosphere, you know, it's quite spooky to have all these green clouds everywhere. But for the battle screen, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it for the battle screen as well. I hope I'm not talking too fast for you, Gariel. I'm not sure whether English is your first language. So, me talking very fast and in a Scottish accent might be a little bit tricky for you, so I hope it's not that bad. But I do tend to talk quite fast. I have to try and consciously slow myself down when I speak. Hmm. Get this back here. I think Cheese Pizza is still munching on his breakfast. Wonder what he's having. What does Cheese Pizza have for breakfast? Cheese Pizza? Probably not. That'd be overkill. That'd be too much of a call it. But this room in here? What's in here? Anything interesting or secret? Bed? Bedtime? Chimney? Chimney time? <laughs> so... You must defeat all. So okay, so I've got to defeat all the. Wait, I've got to defeat all the monsters to go up these stairs. Okay. Not sure about that. Just try off the bat, but you must defeat a puncture to continue. Okay. Do you really want to do this? Roger. Yeah, I really want to do this. I really, really do. Won't you please give up? Okay, that was a different quote. So that's quite good. She does have some different quotes that she can say. Conflict lies within you. Conflict lies within you. We did it. I mean, the voice acting is really good. It's really, really good. <clears throat> garden here. Oh no, it's a carpet. Whoops. <laughs> Just a green carpet. It's not a garden. My bad. Oh, my bad. Okay, here we go. This kind of look like grass chance. though. It's my chance. It's always my chance. Please give up? No, yeah. they're not going to give up. We have to kill them. Don't you get it? We have to defeat them in battle. They're not going to give up. Why would they give up? Conflict lies within you. Yeah, it does. We did it. We did it. Ooh, and very, very nice effect here. This I love. Um, so when you level up, this is awesome. This part is awesome because I don't know. It's just leveling up. The thing about leveling up is. It should be one of the most satisfying parts of an RPG. It's one of the major parts of an RPG. Someone followed me, woo! Can I see it in time? I never have it active, so I never know. 
No, it went away. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I never have that Twitch alert thing on the actual... Uh, on my screen, so I never see it in time. Um, but thank you. Um, so this level up... Like, like I was saying, leveling up in RPGs is probably one of the most satisfying things you can do. Um, and so I think this really does... It gives you that sense of satisfaction. Satis uh, satisfaction? Satisfaction. <laughs> Yeah, going downhill quickly today with the uh, speaking skills. The satisfaction. It gives you a really satisfying uh, visual with the level up and the stats and everything. Um, it's great job. Great job done. So, love it, love it, love it. Any of these books readable? Leave this. Let's place. Do this. So, I've got Roger. to kill all, all the. Monsters for the passage will be open for me, so just gotta spam on them a little bit. Maybe try spamming attack. That's enough to deplete their HP. Because she doesn't do any damage with her attack, so. Cool. Potion. Nice. Wow, my Xbox controller is going all weird. So, I've got one in this room around here, which I should probably just eliminate. Do you really want to do this? I've got it. I really do. Lies I have to. You. I've got no choice. It's not about go. whether I want to do it or not. Roger. All systems I go. Won. Mm. Yeah, I love that level up uh, effect. It's really good. It's awesome. But man, these green clouds are... <laughs> these green clouds are... Just... I'm just... I don't know. The thing is... They kind of just look like paint splodges to me, like paint splatters. They're, they're not very cloudy. They don't really look like clouds that much, and I don't know, they're just a bit like, oh, epilepsy. <laughs> epilepsy incoming with the green clouds. Take the bag. Yes. You received a potion. Who's this? Three of this will slaughter you. Okay, here we go. Roger. Joe Cheese, did you enjoy your breakfast? I hope so. I made a really bad joke, I was like, I wonder what cheese pizza has for breakfast. Cheese pizza? <laughs> oh. Right, okay. Um, so, how many? Three of them here? Let's just... Could be a tricky fight, right enough. It could be a tricky fight. Hey, Mr. Tri Mr. Triv... Oh, Mr. Trivel, how you doing? Why are the clouds inside the building anyway? Good question. That's, um... The thing about RPGs is there's always a there's always like a get out of jail free card. You know you can always explain everything away with it's magic. It's just magic. They're magic clouds, um, so you can always do that in RPGs. But yeah, it's a good point. So the best thing for her is probably water. I should probably pay attention to my HP totals so that I'm not getting super low on HP. I'm fighting these guys because I imagine they could kill me if I was careless enough. Probably could kill me. Conflict lies within you. I think it's ominous mist. Yeah, you're right, cheese. Um, it's just, it's just so super distracting. Like, like I was saying before, his battle screen is very interesting. To it's very visually interesting. There's a lot going on without the clouds. And I think that the clouds just add an extra layer that it really isn't needed. You really don't need the clouds. Um, so. Conflict lies within you. Strike. I got it. Won't you please give up? You know, because there's voice acting as well. I was just lucky. So that makes the battles a lot more interesting. So you really don't need to heap on layers and layers of uh, graphics and stuff. You don't need it. Okay, here we go. 
Roger. All systems go. Won't you please give up? Is the game music a little bit louder now, Cheese? Hopefully. This is my chance. I turned it up a, bit, a little bit, so it should be a bit louder. Can't let you go on. Go. I've got it. Yeah. I've got it. Can't let you go on. Go. Oh, these quotes though. It's like the same two quotes it. over and over again. Oh. Yeah. Kill. So what's my HP totals like? 682 if yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Let's do this! Roger! All systems go! I think, um, Gariel, I would probably have included in this map a little bit more enemy variety. I think even two different kinds of enemies would have spiced it up a little bit more. Um, having just the one enemy and fighting it over and over again is a little bit it's repetitive and there's already quite a lot of repetitive elements in your game with the, with the quotes being repeated and um, so I would have mixed it up a little bit more just to keep the player on their toes. Mr. Trivel says, um, another idea would be to push clouds one layer back then it wouldn't hide the graphical user interface. Wow Mr. Trivel, good idea and very well put. So if you're watching this, Gariel, who is the creator of the game by the way Mr. Trivel, uh, Gariel created this game. Uh, Mr. Trivel has a pretty good idea of how you could improve the clouds, <laughs> or how you could improve the implementation of the clouds. So, bam this guy to death. And uh, Mr. Trivel, I think you're pretty spot on with one flaw that he's got with the way he's designed the game is that a lot of the graphical, uh, a lot of the graphical elements. Um, obscure other graphical elements, like the the cursor here, uh, the indicator, is kind of obscures the target HP bar sometimes, and there's other examples of that as well. So um, I think he's uh, struggled to manage to make the various layers of graphics interact well together. Won't you please give up? I was just lucky. Another level up, and he has learned close combat. Okay, cool. Sounds cool. Mr. Trivel says, or randomize the cloud layer so it could be a chance for below above the enemies instead of static above everything. Yeah. Chat is on fire today. Chat knows what it's talking about. HP totals. Probably use like this magic water on. Okay, <laughs> she liked that. She liked it a lot. Um, Mystic water. Wow, recovers 1,000 MP. It's a lot of MP. Potion recovers 500 HP. Spell herb. Okay. So is this the last guy that I have to fight on this really on this map? This? Hopefully. This is my chance. I really do. Conflict I do. All systems go. I can't let you go on. Go. We did it. Cool. Oh man, I can't wait to get onto the next area so that these clouds are gone. <laughs> you see, it's not it's not a huge problem, but it's it's just oh there's another guy here. It's just I don't know, it's just the fact that it's constant and it's I don't know, so harsh in the eyes, you know. Um, I can't so let you go on. Let's spam this guy. I've got it. Won't you please give up? We did it. Okay. Dispel herb. Uh, Jessica leveled up, she's got heal too. Um, so far, so far the battles are pretty easy. There's not much difficulty to, to the battles. Like, I'm not finding, 
I'm not finding that my HP is getting anywhere near critical, or there's not there's like there's not really any chance of me dying. So I'm start I'm starting to not care about the battles. Like I'm starting to just think, oh, okay, just spam attack and do the same things over and over again. And it doesn't really feel like there's any jeopardy to the battles. And of course, it's the start of the game, so there's not going to be that much danger. But I think a little bit more. If the enemies were a little bit more dangerous, it might be a little bit more interesting, and the player would the player would be kept on their toes a little bit more. So I've killed them all, right? So I can move on. I think I've killed them all. So I can try the stairs now. Oh no, the clouds are still here. <laughs> oh. Do you know what though, it's such a shame because everything else in this game is has is done really well and there's a really high uh the quality level is really high in terms of the graphics. So it's a real shame that this is the that this small little aspect is uh you know, it's it's a shame that it's uh, what, what did I say? It's ru it's not you see it's not even ruining the game that it's um, it's just it's the one thing that is just getting in the way of it being um, the visuals being perfect I guess okay nothing in here what's this is this like a hole that can fall down <laughs> yeah it is that's not so bad though Wow, there's freaking tons of enemies. Wait a second, so I'm starting to get the impression that this game... Let me just check. Get rid of those punctures to continue. Okay, so this game has got a kind of a unique uh, progression element to it, in that you have to, on every map that you go into that's sort of like a dungeon map, you can't leave the... You can't move on to the next map without defeating all the enemies. So unless you've killed all the enemies on a particular map, you can't move on. Um, which is... It's interesting, it's its different. Um, I'm not 100% on board with that as a mechanic. I think that it's... I think that it could very easily frustrate the player to the point of... them not enjoying the game that much because it's forcing you to fight every single enemy that you've put on the map. Um, I'm just not. I'm just not sure about that. Let's just do a little bit of a recon and see how many enemies there are actually. <laughs> Mr. Triple Forced Grind. I know, right? It is a forced grind. Um, I think it's always bad when you give the player the illusion of freedom so it looks as if you can avoid stuff because they're visible enemies so the enemies appear on screen and you think okay so I'll just avoid this one and I'll avoid this one and then I'll fight this one for a bit of experience so it's like an illusion you think that you can avoid them but you actually can't um, I think that's always always a bad thing okay well we may as well try it and see Week. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. I've got it. I just I really wish these clouds weren't on the screen. I know I'm repeating myself, Gariel, and I'm sorry if you're watching this. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. But I do you know what it is? I keep noticing it. Like it keeps popping up like my eyes are getting <laughs> by the clouds. So that's why I'm saying it again and again. Won't you please give up? I've got it. Won't you please give it? Roger. Let's try spamming it. Okay, her attack just does no damage ever. I can't let you go on. So we have to stick to elemental water. How do you like that? 
Now, how'd you like them apples? <laughs> Mr. Treble force grind. So funny. It totally is a force grind. That's uh. Squeak. Do you really want to do this? I've got it. Oh. <laughs> Conflict lies within you. Go. This is my chance. Won't you please give up? Strike. How do you like that? I mean, of course, the enemies aren't difficult to defeat at all. So it's not like it's not like you've put in place a huge barrier to progression. Like it's pretty easy to wipe out all the enemies. So that's a plus point is that at least you've made the enemies. Because I was saying before that I think it would have been a good idea if you made the enemies a little bit tougher. But now that I'm seeing that you've made um, you've made it impossible to avoid any encounters, then I would suggest that you've probably made them hard enough. Um, it's probably a good thing that you can just uh, spam attack and they die pretty easily because if they were quite tough and you had to fight every single one of them it would it would get a little bit frustrating so you probably did the right thing with the difficulty I can't let you go on I was just lucky. Okay. Another one down. Spear. Cool. What's this? It's a potion. Oh man. Clouds. Oh, baggy. Take the bag. Yep, take the bag. Potion, potion. Kill you, attack, squeak. Do you really want to do this? Hey, Hades Odin. How you chance. doing? Welcome to the stream. Wow, this is a lot of them, though. Um... <laughs> oh, you guys know each other? You're uh, amigos, Mr. Triple and Hades Odin. That's cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, so, let's have a look here. Might be time to bring out the Thunder Shock for a little bit of extra power because there's a lot of enemies. Uh. Won't you please give up? I think it's probably better to focus on one at a time and try and uh, deplete their numbers. Okay, we need to heal up Jerome this turn with either... Let's use a potion. 500. Jerome. Won't you please give up? Oh wait, did Jessica not get a turn? Uh. Um, we probably need to make sure that Jessica is not dying either. What's chat saying? Mr. Trivel is watching sometimes when I play RPG Maker. Oh, do you stream Hades? Do you stream RPG Maker games as well? Because if you do, I'll follow you. Because um, that's what I'm trying to do with this channel, is I'm trying to stream a lot of different RPG Maker games and try and boost the community and help people to give them feedback and to promote their games and stuff. So. I'm sure that I'm just a casual VXA scripter, so I watch RPG Maker. Cool, man. That's awesome. I'm really um, jealous of people who can program and script. I think that's an awesome skill to have. Uh, if I could do it, I would be doing it all day long. <laughs> so. Alright, let's get back to this battle now. Because Jessica is definitely in the danger zone of dying. So we need to... Are oh, you working on your own game, Hades? Brilliant. Um, keep me, like, I'll try and follow you and definitely keep me posted on how it's going um, because I'm, I'm definitely interested in seeing what people are doing. Um. Wait, I should... Hmm. I think I've got tons of potions, right? Yeah, I think I should use one on Jessica because she's almost dead. This is my chance. And I didn't really pay attention to how much damage that thunder shock did. Although he's missing with his physical attack, which is not brilliant. Let's try and use the water. Roger. All systems go. Roger. 
you're a beginner at RPG Maker, so it's more from zero to hero with RPG Maker. Hey, if it's if it's zero to hero, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, you know what? It's definitely a steep learning curve. Um, at the beginning, you feel overwhelmed with how much stuff you have to try and you have to try and do. You know, taking on everything is it's a big it's a big task, but it gets easier, I think, as you go on. I've only made one game with RPG Maker myself, and it was a very basic game. There wasn't like a lot of like unique original stuff. It was very kind of just a standard RPG Maker game. It just had a lot of humor in it. That was the only thing that kind of set it apart from other games. Um, but yeah, I think I think it gets easier. I hope it gets easier. <laughs> so let's try and. Oh, close combat. This is new. A fury of attacks that hit three times could be good. There's a weird thing here, um, Gariel. When I select close combat or even my attack skill, and then I try and press left to change the enemy that I'm targeting, it actually moves me right. So instead of going left, I go right, right, and then I can go... So it's, like, inverted. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't let you go on. Go! I've got it. Okay, close com close combat is pretty powerful. Definitely, definitely useful. So I'm going to be spamming that from now on. And with her, I'm just going to keep doing water. Powerful enough. Close combat. I can't let you go on. Close combat is pretty OP. Okay. I got it. Won't you please give up? Go. I was just lucky. Oh, it moves it. It moves it by the index. It doesn't move it by the by the X positions. Interesting. Mr. Trivel, interesting. Elixir, pretty good treasure for that, and a level up. The level up screen is too awesome though. It's too satisfying, like, the sound and the visual. It really makes you feel like, yes, I've leveled up. I'm stronger. So that was really well done. So how many more um, enemies on this map do I have to? There's one here. HP totals are... Mm, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and she's... She's got very low HP, so it's always like a worry whether she's going to die or not. Uh, I hope this isn't like the four of them again. Okay, it's just one. No problem. Let you go on. Does her attack do any? This still does no damage. It's interesting. I can't let you go on. You know, there's very little point in giving her an attack command if she's never going to do any damage with it. Mr. Trivel is saying that he doesn't see anything custom though, except some art. Um, yeah, I thought that the enemies were custom. I don't think I've seen them in the standard RPG Maker re resources for battlers, for enemy battlers. Um, but I could have missed them. Maybe they are in there. Um, I think the characters are definitely custom. I'm not sure about the sprites. The sprites look a little bit different as well. I mean, this guy's got the goggles, which I think is, is different than... I don't think you can get them by default. I think you have to uh, do that yourself. Um, they definitely look custom to me. And a lot of the, like this menu screen is quite nice. I think it's it's different from anything generic or default. So I think there's some custom stuff. Right, let, where's the last enemy? Here. Wow, you scripted, um, you made a script to allow players to build their own houses in-game. 
that's really impressive. Oh, the characters are from a specific site. The menu is from Galve. Battle system plus fog is from MOG. Oh, I get. I understand, Mr. Triple. I get you. Um, you're saying that he's he's taken a lot of the stuff from. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand. What website did he get the characters from? Because they're really quite. They look quite sharp and uh, clean. The sprites. So I'd be interested to see if there was a website that I could maybe steal some some of these sprites from myself. So I've killed them all, right? So I just need to move on. Hmm, still seems blocked a little bit. Get rid of those punctures to continue. I must have missed one. Must have missed one. Somewhere, somewhere. Wait, can I run? Let's not run. Maybe it's in the maybe it's in the options for auto auto run. There's no options, is there? There's no options. So wait, I can't run. Oh, it's here. So I might have to go back down to the lower floor. And I think there was a stair well over here. Yep, this is it. Back up and a second HP is okay. Let me through. I got it. Let me through. So we probably don't need to use close combat here because it's just the one of them. But you have to use with Jessica. You have to use MP skills because she can't attack anyway. So you have to use something else. This is my job. We did it. Another spear. We've two spears now. Oh, there's a bag. Back yet, take back. Received potion. Yeah, Trivel, uh, put the links in the chat if you want, so that we can all steal stuff. <laughs> we can all take stuff for our own games. It's not stealing, it's just. I mean, as long as the person who like made the scripts and made the menu screens and everything is allowing it to be used in other projects. I mean, sometimes they ask for credit, sometimes they ask for you to give them credit, um, but as long as they're happy with that, then it's fine. So the way should be clear now. We should be clear to go. I better save. Save it in ages. Awesome, Trivel, you've got a blog. I will definitely check that out. Uh, Mr. Trivel, vxwordpress.com. I'm just going to make a note on my pad that I've got here, because sometimes I forget stuff and then it's like, I have to watch the stream back. <clears throat> Mr. Trivel. Yeah, and Hades, make sure that you uh, keep me posted about uh, your progress as well. How did you two get up here? You must have gotten rid of all those spirits of punctures. I did, and it was a bitch of a thing to do. Well, it wasn't that hard, but it was time consuming. Yeah, those things were pretty pathetic. Pathetic? Don't ever call such beautiful creatures pathetic. You like those things? You're gonna pay for killing them. Wait, you're the cause of all this? I wish. Then who are you? None of your business. You're gonna pay for what you did. Ooh, boss fight. Lucky I saved. Wow, she's freaking huge! <laughs> she's really big. Okay, so the um, the boss bar, the boss HP bar, I think is awesome. 
Um, I think it's a really nice touch. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's really good. I'm not so sure about the whole like acid trip. Like I really feel like I'm on some bad acid at the moment because she's she's got like an after image, ghost image going on, and she's going up and down, and the clouds are back, and <laughs> I really feel like I'm uh, tripping out here at the moment. So I'm not sure about all that, but I'm gonna teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Let's go, guys. All systems go. Well, let's try and take out the little guys first with close combat. This guy. I can't let you go on. Wow, Trivel, you really know your stuff. You really, really have like got an encyclopedia going on in your head. All systems go. Um. Won't you please give up? Roger. All systems go. Okay, so Jerome has been poisoned. I wonder if that's a really dangerous state settlement or whether it's not that much of a big deal. We'll find out. Finish this guy off. Kill him. Done. Conflict lies within you. So let's try out. Oh, I don't know if I better use an MP recovery skill. Something like this. Strike. <laughs> Roger. All systems go. And you better use this uh, dispel herb to get rid of the poison. Is she, is she healing? I haven't done any damage to her yet, so she really shouldn't be healing. Um, let's probably use heal on her just to try it out and see. All systems go. Wow, I did a shitload. This is my chance. It's my chance. Um, potion? Just I can't let you go on. Wonder how much damage. Let's try this paralyze on her. I don't know what that regenerate is. I don't think it's even a heal. Oh no, Jerome died. We died. Woo, whoops. <laughs> oh no. This is embarrassing. Died my ass off. Lucky save. That's good though, you know, I definitely like it when boss battles are uh, challenging and when they kick your ass a couple of times. Um, I don't like it when the boss fights are really easy and you can just breeze through them, so I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good job done. Because you got me. <laughs> you got me. Oh wait, I should have healed. Can I still heal? No. Right, okay, I gotta pay attention then. I gotta pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> oh, triple. One shot. <laughs> One shot balanced here. Yeah. No, but this time. Okay, this time I'm paying attention. I'm giving this 100% of my RPG skills, so should be okay, right? I mean, should be. I mean, I think I think my strategy was definitely sound in that you want to take out the, the little guys before you take out the big guy or the big girl in this case, you know, because otherwise their damage starts to stack up. So I think I'm gonna just repeat that because I don't think I did anything wrong last time. Won't you please give up? I think the only thing I have to watch out for is maybe the status ailments like poison and, and whatever. Maybe I have to pay more attention to that. I'm gonna try and paralyze wait wait, where? Yeah. Oh. That didn't work, did it? Okay, that's Roger. great. 
What happened there? I just tried to paralyze her and she totally killed me. Was it like a counter attack or something? Or was it just... Does she just do mega damage? Um, do I have... I've got this revive thing here. I've only got one though. How much does it... It revives her with one HP, are you freaking kidding me? One... Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, Giriel. I would say to you that, like, um, I think it's definitely okay to have revive items that, that only restore a portion of the character's max HP. That's totally fine. Of course, you know, you don't want to have them fully, fully recovered. But I think one HP is... I think one HP to revive them with is, like, you might as well not bother. Like, what's the, what's the point of even reviving them? Because there's no way they're going to survive. I mean, unless I get my potion in before the enemies attack me. Okay, I, I, I got my potion in first, so I guess that's okay. But I still think it's a little bit, like, dumb, to be honest. Um, so Paralyze was no good. So I guess we just have to use water on this guy. What is she doing? What does that regenerate mean? I don't get it. What, he died? What? What? And the clouds don't help as well. <laughs> the, the clouds don't really don't help when you're trying to pay attention to the damage and stuff. It's got like green clouds all over the place. Well, I think this is done. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. The thing is, like, I'm not even sure what I'm doing wrong. It just, they just seem to kill me. And like, one, one, it's like what Trivel said, Mr. Trivel, one shot. They definitely seem to kill me in one shot. So, I don't know. And I don't think, I don't even think I can grind anymore because I killed all the enemies. So how, how am I supposed to level up some more if I've killed all the enemies? Like, how do I do that? New plan. Kill the green Raimu first. The green one? You mean the big girl? Big girl's blouse? Kill her first? Maybe. It's worth a try. I just always... I always try and approach bosses if a boss has like minions, I usually try and kill the minions first because if you don't kill the minions then you're dealing with a lot of damage, like a lot more damage than you would be without them. But you might be right, maybe it's better to kill the big green girl. Let's heal first and then... Wait, I should use her healing spell. Elemental. Oh, I can't use it outside a battle. Can't use it outside a battle. I'm not sure about that, Gariel. Um, I think it's. I think. I think you're definitely bucking the trend. I mean, usually in RPGs, if a character has a heal spell that can heal your allies, it's usually accessible from outside of battle. Because think about it. It doesn't make. It doesn't make any sense. Like. Why why can't she use it now? Obviously with the attack spells, she can't use them outside of battle because there's no one to attack. But with a heal spell, it doesn't make any sense why she wouldn't be able to heal the party or heal someone right now. Like, there's nothing, there's no reason for it. And yeah, I, I would switch that, switch it. Um, so anyway, back to thing. So I guess we have to use the potion. Or... Yeah, I guess we have to. <laughs> but the thing is, though... Oh, okay, Mr. Trevor, that was my fault. Okay, I can't heal outside of battle, I just didn't have enough uh, mana. Okay, whoops. Sorry, Gariel, I apologize. I did not notice my mana tools. I'll just double check. Yeah, so Trivial is absolutely right. Um, and I'm sorry that I made that mistake because that's not fair. 
Um, you can heal outside of battle. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I just forgot to check the uh, mana tolls. But the, what I was saying was that I've got about 900 HP with Jerome, but they were still one-shotting me, even with 900 HP, so... I'm just not really sure what's going on, but I'm going to give it another go and see if I can... I'm going to save first. And I'm also going to check my equipment to see if I've got anything more powerful. I think I picked up a few spears and stuff, so that might help. Um, there's no spear. Maybe it's for her. Um, well, no, but I definitely picked up a spear. Wait a second. Let's check my inventory first. Weapons. Spear. A short spear. So I've got two spears. I've got two spears, but they're not equipable on either of them, right? Let's go to change weapon. Not equipable. Hmm. Fascinating. Not equipable. No spears. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Sorry, you stumped me. Where do the spears come from? Where do they go? Hmm. I don't know. It says casual clothes is a drop. It's not useful at all. What about formation? Does that can we put her in the back row? Get back in the back row. <laughs> no, she doesn't go back. She likes to be at the front. Um, so that's about it, really. In terms of prep work, there's nothing else I can really do. That's no. Oh, let's give it. Let's give it another go and see what happens. If I die, I die. It's not like a big deal. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna try, um... I'm gonna try your strategy, Trivel. I'm gonna try and kill the green girl first, and see how that goes. Um... I gotta focus my attack on her. She will feel my wrath. Wrath incoming. So, the best thing for you is definitely your close combat, so... Oh god, don't even have enough thing... ...for it. <laughs> wait, do I? Wait... That's close combat, and that says 10... Wait a second, what's going on? Jerome has 100 and 141 MP... ...and... Close combat. Does, is that an MP cost there in, in the green number, or is it a different number, like a like a technical points limit number, or why is it? Hmm, I don't understand this. Um. Oh no. Okay, so MP MP must be the blue number, right? So MP is the, is a blue number, and so this number here is green. But wait a second. Wait a second. The MP bar is green. The MP bar. The MP bar is green. Mr. Trivel, the green is TP. You only have seven. Yeah, but Trivel, the the MP bar is green. That's what's really misleading about it. <laughs> Color coded, totally correct. No, it's not. <laughs> I know you're being sarcastic, but it's not. It's totally like the wrong. Is wrong <laughs> because for for someone like me who just like I don't spend ages and ages reading up about the the battle system like the player would naturally just they would see that the MP bar is green and then if you've got a green number next to a skill you're gonna assume that it's the MP cost that's just natural so that's really dumb I'm, well, I mean I'm sorry Gariel I don't I don't mean to be um, overly critical and, and, you know, put you down. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. Uh, it's just that having an MP bar that is green and then having uh, a skill cost in that number is, it's very misleading. 
and you've got to you've got to change it. I think oh I think you've got to change it. Um. Okay, so I'm still gonna try and kill this girl. See what happens. A lot of damage. Wow! What was that? It was like a dark spell or something. It, was, it looked like it was a dark elemental spell. It just killed me in one go. Oh my god, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Is this is, have I done something wrong here? Is this not the start of the game? Have I gone into like an optional side, side dungeon? Side quest dungeon or something? Because... Oh, I don't understand. <sighs> the thing is, if this is an optional side quest bit, I think it's a really bad idea to make it available and so easily accessible from the start of the game. Because I think side quests and optional stuff is something you should leave to the end or close closer to the end of the game rather than right at the start of the game. I mean, either either it's an optional thing that I'm not supposed to be here, or yes, Hades, exactly, maybe I need a special item to survive, or maybe, um, I was gonna say, or maybe you've made the damage, the damage formula for that spell way too, way too powerful. Um, number one enemy AI. Well, the boss is level 10, so it should be fine. All oh, right, Trivel. Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. The boss is level ten, so. But one shot at random is bad game design. Yeah, I just don't know whether it's the damage formula, whether he's inputted the damage formula incorrectly, and it's doing way too much damage, or like you say, maybe maybe it has a chance to critical, and it does then it does a lot more damage. I, d I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. Except for I'm dead. Because <laughs> this is the 1 HP revive. <laughs> Hilarious. Troll. See, look, he's going to kill me now. Won't you please give up? Why on earth would they give up, bitch? They're totally owning us up. Yeah, they're really going to give up. Oh, what's the point? I don't get it. I do not get it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, back down and I'm gonna see whether there's um whether this is really the, the place I'm supposed to be. Like, is this what's this? Slime guy. You what is that? You what is that? Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? You've trapped me in here now? I'm trapped in here? Why is this slime guy blocking my way? What is that? Let me- let me out! Let me out! Oh my god, dude. <sighs> and- and I'm- so I'm- so, let me get this straight. I'm trapped in this dungeon with no way to level up, so I can't grind anymore because I've killed all the enemies and changing the map does not respawn, respawn the enemies, right? They don't come back after you kill them. So the enemies don't come back after you kill them and you've trapped me in here with a boss that one shot kills me. Can I just let, can, can we just get this straight, what the situation is? Because I need to know before I start to be really horrible about this game. <laughs> am I, Trivel, Hades, are you in the chat? Is this, am I getting the right picture about what's going on here. I mean, tell tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm missing something, and I will, and I will retract my statement. Um. I'm fucked. Pretty much, Hades. You summed it up in about the shortest, 
most accurate way. This game has fucked me. <laughs> There's nothing else to say because um, I've tried that boss fight a couple of times now and one of the enemies, I don't know which one it is, I don't know whether it's the boss, I don't know whether it's one of the minions, I don't think it's the minions because I fought them on their own. So I think it's the boss. Plan, get more than 10 TP by RNG a boss. And critical hit all three hits. <laughs> Trevel, you're trolling me something uh, something crazy. You're trolling my ass off here. <laughs> it's funny though. It's funny. Um Right, okay, but but guys, am I correct in what I'm saying here that um, the game has trapped me in a dungeon? where there's no possibility to level up, there's no possibility to grind, and I am trapped in a dungeon with a boss that is one shot killing me. Am I correct in that? Just before I before I continue. Am I correct? I'll walk around a bit more so you can maybe see if I'm wrong. Because that just takes me upstairs. Upstairs. Mr. Trivel, from what I see, correct. Well, then I've got look, Giriel. I've 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 got to be honest because there's no point in me trying to. There's no point in me saying things, you know, and being fake. I've got to be honest. This is really really bad design. Um, it's bad. It's 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 just bad. There's nothing. There's no way to sugarcoat it and say, oh well, if you just did this differently. No, it's 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 just it's just bad design. Um, and you've 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 got to change this. You've got to sort this out quickly because it's a real. I don't know what to tell you. I'm kind of lost for words actually. I'll have another little bit of a search around. Okay, so Mr. Trivel has given you a couple of different suggestions on how you could improve this game, which is good because I'm getting to the point where I'm too annoyed to help you. But he says, uh, change the boss AI or add a place to level up. So yeah, so either change it so that so that the boss doesn't have that one one hit kill thing that completely wipes you out, or make the enemies respawnable. You know, make it so that. What you could do is that if you maybe went downstairs, so if you went downstairs, maybe that would respawn the enemies in this map. So this lower map, then the enemies would be respawned, and then if you went back up, the enemies would be respawned here. That that might be an option that you could do. But I think to be honest with you, the best thing that you could do is remove that one-shot kill from the boss. That's definitely the best thing that you could do, is, is take that away from the boss. Um, and then it would probably be fine. I think it would. I think I could. I think I could probably win the battle if you removed that. So I mean, I'll I'll give it another go. But this skills. I'm just trying to see if there's anything game mechanic wise that I've missed, you know, that I've skipped over. If there's something, if there's some kind of other option, whether it's a like a, like a defend option or something that I that I should be doing. Maybe I should be uh, defending at certain points in the battle. That's true, Mr. Trivel. Uh, one shot is fine, but make it predictable. Yeah, that's that's that, that's what I'm just saying, Trivel. Is I'm wondering whether I'm wondering whether there's some sort of uh, rhythm or pattern or something that I've got to try and anticipate, so that maybe when she does 
when she does something, I can see that, okay, the next time she's going to use the one shot and I've got to defend and I've got to try and make sure that I'm surviving it. Um, that's what I'm wondering. It's just that I didn't really notice anything, I think. Because usually, well, usually when it's that kind of a mechanic, I mean, sometimes it flashes up like uh, the boss is gathering its power or, you know, the boss is preparing to unleash something or, you know, ultimate skill in five turns comes up on the screen because otherwise it's really difficult to anticipate it and it's really difficult to prepare for it if there's nothing coming up. But let's check. Save. So let's try and use that strategy this time. Defending. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to actually pay attention to the to the pattern of the fight and see if she is giving me any clues about when she's going to do that thing. So I'm not really going to try and win. I'm just going to try and pay attention to the AI. Etrian Odyssey style. Dragon ambushes your max level party, gets first turn and one shots all your party. Seen that happen on stream. Haha. <laughs> that must have been really rage inducing. There must have been some heavy duty level salt going on there. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so just I'm not gonna really try and win. I'm just gonna do that and then see what she's doing. Okay, so who... who poisoned me? Who... Hmm... What? Someone tried to poison me, and then... Just came out of nowhere. Do you know what? I think you really need to have the enemies... Like the enemy name come up on screen before they use their skill. So say like enemy A is using poison or enemy A is doing blah 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 blah. Because otherwise it's really hard to know like who's who's attacking me and who's doing what what's the thing? What's happening here? Um But someone tried to poison me and then I got one shotted by I think the boss. I think it was the boss that one shotted me. But Okay, wait a second. So I'm just gonna die. And then I'm going to reload, and then I'm going to try defending on my first turn. See what that does. Die already. Come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need hat. Hmm. So I'm just going to try defending from the very start. I'm going to try defending and see how much da of a damage reduction it actually is. Trivial. You're saying that the pattern is random, you believe. That's what I believe as well, Trivial. Um, that's, that's what I think that as well, is that it is just entirely random, and there is no... Um, the creator has not set a specific turn order for the skills. Because you can do that, as you know. You can do that in RPG Maker. You can say, um, okay, at turn one, I want the enemy to do this. At turn two, I want it to do this, etc, etc, etc. I don't think that he has done this for this battle. I think he has just um, given the enemy a super powerful skill that it can be used at random. <sighs> Which I don't even have, I don't even have the words to describe how bad that is, you know, design-wise. Like I just don't I just I just don't know I don't know what to tell you about that because 
I mean, Guriel, I apologize if I am missing something. It's very possible that I might have missed something in, um, I don't know, the, the start of the game or somewhere along the line. I may have neglected to uh, notice something that's really crucial to this fight, and if that's the case, then I apologize in advance. But if it's not the case, and this is how it goes for everyone, then <laughs> it's bad. It's it's bad. Um, but I'll give it I'll give it one more go. Why not? You know, it's just a shame because you've done everything else really well. Well, apart from the clouds. Well, let's forget the clouds. But I mean, everything else you have done really, really well. You've done a superb job on, you know... Okay, it's been taken from other sites and stuff. It's been taken from other people. But you've still done a really good job of integrating it all and making it... You know, uh, making it look... I think it looks really good. I think the voice acting is superb. Uh, the menu screen I really enjoy. There's, there's there's so much that I enjoy about this game that I think it's a real shame that you've you've uh, let yourself down or you've let the game down by uh, putting in this terrible terrible start to the game. There's there's no other word than terrible. Trapping trapping the player in a dungeon with no grinding, no leveling up capability, and a super powerful boss is kind of the cardinal sin. It's kind of the cardinal sin um, in, our, in making an RPG. But let's move on. Let's not dwell on it too much because... What's Tribble saying? Or he forgot to add continue after defeat tick. Yeah, I don't... I don't think it's supposed to be a scripted boss fight. You know, a scripted defeat uh, uh, where you can't ever win. I don't think it's supposed to be one of those. I think it's just... I think it's supposed to be a fight that you can win. Um, I think so. Wait a second. Wait just a minute. Why is guard? Why is guard? Why can't I use or use use guard? Why is it grayed out? Why can't I use it? Does that cost TP? Does guard cost TP? Oh, I don't know anymore. I'm getting beyond the point of caring, though. I'm just gonna use close combat and see if it kills her. It does do a lot of damage. And then do water on her. This is my chance. I can't let you go on. Oh wow! I'm totally gonna. I'm totally gonna win now. Look. Wow. I can't let you wow. Roger. All systems go. Won't you please give up? Go. Wow. You know, in a way in a way I feel kinda stupid. I kinda feel like a moron. But in a way I don't. Because well let me wait till I finish this and then I'll talk about it. Roger. All systems go. I can't let you go on. Go. Conflict lies within you. Okay, this should finish finish it off. I won. Yeah, I mean, in a way, I still think it's bad design. I mean, okay, that was really a lot easier because I, uh, so Mr. Trivial is saying in short, this boss fight is pure RNG. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say, Trivial, is that I don't, I don't feel it was my fault because, <laughs> Hades, no, where did you go, Hades? Why did you leave? You missed the best part. <laughs> Yeah, Trivial, because um, the boss could have used that one-shot skill there in between my close combat things. So it still could have killed me. So it's not as if... He okay, here's the thing. It's not as if I went away 
and came up with a strategy or came up with a new way of attacking the boss or a new way of coming at it. All I did was just rely on the boss not using the one one shot kill. And yeah, just RNG, just luck. That's so I didn't I didn't overcome anything with my own skill or exploiting the mechanics of the game. It was just pure luck. And I still think that's bad design, but let's move on because we won, so it's something that you can maybe look at. It's something that you can take the comments from. You know, it's not just me that's saying this. We've got Trivel and, and Hades in the chat who are also in the RPG Maker community. And I think they're also I think they're also not not really on board with, with that boss fight, so um, I would imagine that other people are gonna be frustrated by it as well. Because the thing is as well I think it's very much because the strategy there is going to be that you've got to attack the boss first and I think that's very much bucking the trend of most boss fights. If Usually if you get into a boss fight that's got like minions and uh, little guys around you usually want to try and uh, like at least clear out some of them first. And that's why I rescripted enemy AI. I don't like default enemy AI in an RPG maker, yeah. It can definitely be frustrating. The default in me, I I'll never be as strong as the other two. You're pretty strong, bitch. Don't think you need to worry about that. Still haven't met my friends. They'll tear you to pieces with these. Yeah, with your RNG broken stuff. Yeah, I can imagine so. Hmm. Well, I have to let Shadari. Know that you're here. Shit, Harry. Ah, oh, fuck off. We have to find King Saznak. Right. Hmm. Slime. Slime still blocking the way. Must be. These shots were powerful friends. <laughs> oh god, could you imagine? On the plus side, I've been trapped in this castle for so long that I've managed to tune out the uh, horrible green clouds. I am no longer even noticing the clouds. So, that's a plus point. I feel like I'm being like super bitchy about this game and I don't mean to be because I I am I'm genuinely impressed by it I, I am impressed by a lot of the work you've done and I think it's awesome but there are there are some things that I'm, that I'm just not feeling I'm just not on board with so. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up though you guys are making this a lot more fun than it would be if I was on my own a lot more fun. <laughs> Why is the music not going strong? <laughs> no, I know, still trapped inside, I know. Uh, no, wait a second. I think there must be an exit on this. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. So I need to get into that bedroom. So I think I have to go down. And then this way. Oh, my Xbox controller. Oh, it's the uh, the vocal. What do you call this? Beatboxing. Beatboxing music. Is this boss? Oh no! Is it the boss? Almost dead too. Wait, let's use. Heal two. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, maybe it's okay. 
just uses up so much MP. But I mean, I've got a lot of these magic water things. But... Trivial, if you've got a game for me to play, then I will play it. Um, I'm just looking through the RPG Maker forums, the RPGMakerWeb.com forums, for completed games. I mean, what I was trying to do before I played this game was I was trying to play games that didn't have a lot of replies to the original post because I wanted to try and help people um, who hadn't had a lot... because there's a lot of completed games on RPG Maker Web that have had a lot of replies and a lot of views, like they've had like a hundred thousand views and loads of replies and stuff and I felt like I wanted to give other games that hadn't had that kind of attention um, a, a, a bit of time in the spotlight. So I was trying to choose games that were not very uh, popular, <laughs> which may maybe is a weird strategy, but that's what I was trying to do, just to help people out and give them some feed feedback and give them some comments and to make them feel as if all their time and all their effort had not been wasted on creating a game um, because, I don't know, I just I, th I thought that was maybe the right thing to do. But if you've got a game that you think is uh, great for me to try, I'll definitely play it. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Hmm. So, I think that's pretty good. Save there. I know, it's a friend. It's one of those friends that she was talking about. And, uh... Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm pretty scared. This music is so weird. So you two are the ones who defeated Shadella. I don't know, was that was that girl Shadella? I didn't really notice. Ah, oh, so our guests have arrived. It's such a weird face. What's up with that face? It's like a Picasso face. The nose... The nose is not in the right place for... Like, the nose should be above the mouth, right? Not way off to the side. Oh, she's still alive? Oh yeah, she teleported away. That's right. Shut up. Done enough. I'm sorry. Would you like me to dispose of them? I will strike at your command, sire. Are you the cause of this? Indeed. And who might you be? I'm Jerome, and I'm gonna need you to pack your things and leave. Touch confidence. I admire that. I'll make a deal with you. Let's hear it. Play Tales of the Tales of the Black Knight. GGTV created it. Excuse me. Oh, that was a that was a pretty bad game. I've seen it. <laughs> Are you trying to set me up? It's not nice, you guys. If you're trying to set me up with really really bad games, <laughs> I don't mind them. Uh, if you can defeat Black Soul, I will pack my things and leave. Who or what is Black Soul? And if we lose, if you lose, I will extract both of your elemental essences and add them to my own. Kinky. Now, Black Soul, you may dispose of them. Alright, here we go. Okay, so he's just in his own. So at least I don't have to choose between fighting the minions and fighting the boss. Just fight the boss. You both are truly stupid. Well, I do feel a bit stupid now, yeah. I'm the embodiment of death, which means I can't die. I hate you, Jerry. However, I will play fair. If you can remove half of my health, I will forfeit the match. Why would he do that? <laughs> Why would he do that? What? That doesn't make any sense. Isn't he like... pure evil? Isn't he like the most evil monster that you've ever come across? Why on earth would he like... Okay, if you can remove half of my health, I give up. Like, you, you win. <laughs> like, why would he do that? Oh, whatever. Really? I'm a soul of my word. Thank you. This is a weird. This is a really weird boss fight. So I think I'm just gonna do close combat. What's this focus? Increases a little bit of TP. What have I got? I have got 15. Well, let's do this first. 
Let's see how much damage it does. That does what? I've almost won. Already. It's almost look, because I only need to take off half of his health, so. That's crazy, dude. What is this? Going from super difficult boss fight to super pathetic boss fight in like five seconds? Wow. What's going on here? Very dumb thing to do. Apologize, my lord. Is there someone else I have to fight now? No threatening order from them. No threatening order? Are you kidding me? Aura? Aura? I can't say that word. Let's move out. This mission was a failure. I apologize. I'm <laughs> sure you it's all right. Seriously, that's it? Are you joking me? That's what the next boss fight was? Oh, chicken King says Nick. Uh, Hades. Um, I'm probably gonna... Uh, how long have I been streaming for now? Let me just check. Been streaming for two hours. Um, I'm fairly new to streaming, so I'm trying not to stream for l huge amounts of time um, until I'm really used to it. Um, but I'm just playing it by ear. I'm just seeing if... Because you guys are watching me, um, I'm playing for a little bit longer than maybe maybe I would have. Oops, the RPG thing needs to be, yeah, um, because I'm trying to I'm trying to get followers and I'm trying to get people who can. Because this is the thing, with you guys in the chat, you have made this like so much more fun. It's been ten times more enjoyable than the other um, RPG Maker games that I've played, just because of you guys. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more today. Because uh, I think for the past couple of streams I didn't have anyone in the chat. <laughs> and I was just trying to talk to myself and it was very awkward. <laughs> very awkward. So I'm going to keep streaming for a little bit longer. Um, no shaking King says that. Okay. Wow. But I can't believe that boss fight, man. That boss fight was ridiculous. You know? my close That close combat skill did almost half the damage right off the bat. Um, so I think there's definitely... Because now I'm not streaming because I'm watching you. Okay, well you can... Uh, once I finish Hades, you can um, take up the baton and I'll join you in your room uh, and watch you stream for a little bit. Because um, streaming is not easy. It's, uh, I kind of underestimated how much... Like, you have to try and constantly... Um, just be aware that you're not playing a game on your own. Even if there's no one in the chat, you have to try and be like aware of your audience. Um, so I'm looking forward to chilling out in your room and letting you do the work, letting you take over the uh, entertainment thing because it's not easy. Um, and in fact, yeah, this might be a good place to just save and do that. I save here. I just can't believe that boss fight, it was so stupid. It was so dumb. Like, my close combat was way too powerful. Way too powerful. I think the Guriel, I think Guriel, you need to watch out for your balancing in terms of the fights. Your balancing is swinging from, you know, one extreme to the other. So, I would watch out for that. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to stop the stream here, and I think Hades is going to stream, so awesome. Um, I think my closing comments, I mean, I think I will play this game again, Gariel, um, because it's definitely had a lot of replies, and there's been a lot of buzz about it on, on RPGMakerWeb.com. But I think just, just for this first uh, session, I would say that you've done some things really amazingly well. I think a lot of your graphics are very uh, nice, very well done. Um, I think that your voice acting that you've implemented in the game is pretty awesome. The voice acting is nice and, and good and got no complaints about that really, apart from the repetition thing. Um, the battle system, I'm mm, not sure about the battle system, I think you've got problems with balancing issues. As I say, I think you've done some things amazingly well, and I think other things you you need to work on or maybe rethink a little bit um, but I'm, I'm, I'm impressed I'm definitely impressed and you should 
keep going because this is this shows a lot of potential and it looks like you've got a lot of talent so please keep going and yes okay I'm done <laughs> my part is much more boring than watching a playing game because creating a game is a long way to go oh no man I'm sure it'll be fun I'm sure it'll be fun okay so thanks for watching Hades thanks for watching uh, Trivial and Cheese Pizza as well um, who was in here earlier and um, I will see you guys next time, probably tomorrow, tomorrow morning, about the same time. Um, so, yeah, I'll join you, Hades, in a minute in your room. See you guys there.